that uh, as we Indians celebrate the ascent of Rishi Sunak, let's honestly ask, can it happen here? Uh, we have to acknowledge that the Brits have done something very rare to place a member of a visible minority in the most powerful office. Now, the BJP has attacked you for this and others have also pointed out that we've had uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh, uh, a Sikh, as Prime Minister for 10 years, uh, that uh, we have had Muslims as presidents. Therefore, was your comment misplaced? Well, I would say, first of all, that, you know, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh absolutely does belong to a visible minority. But most Hindus do not see Sikhs as particularly different from themselves. Can we still imagine the day in our increasingly majoritarian polity that the BJP is, of course, very much behind, when someone who is not Hindu, Sikh or Jain or Buddhist can head our national government? I mean, I'm being very blunt because, you know, we know that Hindutva has a certain philosophy that says that the authentic Indians, the people who can claim, lay claim to the term Hindu, are the people from Indic religions, people whose faith was born in the soil. So Hindu, Sikh, Jain, Buddhists are all seen in the same way. But they don't consider others welcome. They certainly, when Sonia Gandhiji was offered the prime ministership by her victorious coalition, uh, and I guess she would qualify as an immigrant, there were public fulminations about a, a foreigner ruling billion Indians, and one prominent politician, you know who she is, threatened to shave her head and conduct a dharna outside parliament in protest. So Sonia Gandhi chose to decline. Now, that is the kind of situation that you haven't obviously got any parallels for in Britain. So I do believe that we have to acknowledge, and I've been a very strong critic of, British, of, of, of the British and British racism, but here they've chosen to anoint as their leader a brown-skinned Hindu, a member of a minority that represents just over 7% of their population. And what is more, after history, which was certainly associated with overt racism, and a culture of racial discrimination that they exported with them to the colonies they ruled during centuries of imperial conquest and oppression. So given all of that, I would argue that what they've done is how they've outgrown. What's remarkable about the British is how they've outgrown their worst attributes.